soon after we all went to social distancing in the mechanical engineering program and the rest of the academy ramped up its first time online course structure that we've been doing. Uh, in the evenings, a lot of the faculty started working on actually ventilator designs when the shortage was there. Somewhere along the line, uh, one of us caught on to some 3D printed masks that were going on, hitting Thingiverse and, and things online. There was one developed locally. There was an article in the day about it for Dr. Chris Wiles up at Hartford Hospital had a, a particular design. We agreed to look into doing different prints because we had the capacity here with, with 20 or more 3D printers on base to try different plastics and, and to, to leverage our expertise. We got more insight into what some of the problems are in really the DIY community. The immediate problem seems to be the sort of influx of emergency PPE. Anybody can throw anything on the internet. But how do you judge what is good and what is bad? This is a uh, testing apparatus that uh, a, a group of people here have put together. We have a flow of air being pulled through a mask and we detect particles before the mask and after the mask so that we can compare the two to see how well the mask filters particles. If you had a 3D printed design that you could email to somebody, right, in California, now I don't have to drive to California, they've got a firm out there, they can do it, they've got enough plastic lying around, go, you've, you've decoupled yourself from, a, from the global supply chain, right, which that I, I would think would be the big vision.